Hi friends. So I got this cute little pineapple um, at the dollar store. It has a little battery operated tea light on the back. Pull out the paper, turn it on, boom, it, it, it lights up. It's really cute. I'm going to go ahead and cut this tag off because, um, well, it'll be in my way. So I'm going to cut that off. What I did was um, I just painted the whole pineapple white with just inexpensive white craft paint. As a matter of fact, on this whole project, I'm just using inexpensive craft paint. Um, I know that the majority of the pineapple is going to be yellow. So I like to start with painting the back side, the inside back wall of the pineapple, one solid color. That way when it's turned on and it's illuminated, um, the yellow just pops a little bit as opposed to leaving it the wood color that it comes, which is like a light pine colored wood, or leaving it white. Um, you can make this back wall of the pineapple any color you'd like. If you'd like it to be a little more green or all brown or all teal, whatever you would like to do. I just like the yellow because it's bright and fun. So I just went around um, with my acrylic paint and painted the entire back of the pineapple white. Um, I'm keeping my paintbrush wet because, um, you know, painting with acrylics, they dry out pretty quickly. So um, the wetter your brush is, the more leeway, so to say, you'll have with painting. This isn't anything fancy. I just did a real quick brush job with all yellow all over the back wall of the inside of the pineapple. Now, the green part, the leafy part of the pineapple on the top part, I did, um, I took my teal and my yellow and I made a bright green. And I went ahead and I did the leaves on the back inside wall of this pineapple, that greenish color, because the top part of it on the front of the pineapple is going to be mostly green and teal. So just to give it again, a little pop of color. So I went ahead, mixed my teal and my yellow, made a bright green, painted the leaves there. See? I also painted the sides of the leaves and I and the sides of the pineapple, um, just so when you walk around the whole thing, it's it's all painted up. Just a little tiny touch. So like this leaf right here, I'm gonna go ahead, paint it that bright green that I made. I like to make sure that it's all covered, nice and thoroughly. And you can see, I just about got it all covered. I did go around, make sure I, I touched the sides with that bright green. So just add the perfect little touch. And when this is completely dry and I go back and I look at it, you know, I can change up that color in the back at any time. If I wanna add different colors, that's okay, I could do that. Looks like I have it all covered up. Um, remember, I did paint all white and I let that dry dries really quick. And now I've got the backside all yellow and the leaves green at the top. Then I just kind of go around, oh, that got a little greener than I wanted. Let's see if I can yellow that down a little bit. It's, it's still nice. I just went around the, the sides of the back wall of the pineapple to make sure that all that wood color is covered up. Um, and that's what I did. So the backside is done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek at the front of the pineapple. So remember I painted all white, so it's a blank canvas. I can do anything I want here, right? Um, I know the majority of the pineapple is gonna be yellow. So I usually you know, keep my brush nice and wet um, and paint uh, most of the bottom, the, the fruit part of the pineapple, most of it is yellow. So I do go around with my paintbrush. I'm just gonna add yellow over a majority of it. I'm gonna leave some of that white exposed, okay? Give it a good rinse. I'm gonna grab some of that green that we mixed up before. So again, the teal and the yellow. Get my brush wet, get it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and just add touches of that green down on the fruit part here, the front of the pineapple. Some of it will go over the yellow that I just applied and some of it I'm gonna put in places where the white is still exposed. I also picked up some of my light blue color. It's almost, it's almost like a watered down turquoise color. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. i got to get a little bit more green here and there. And so now I've got just various different colors, a couple different shades of green that you can achieve by just mixing yellow and your blue, a little bit of white if you want to make it even brighter. I'm going to go back with some of my yellows and greens and just sort of dab those in. I also painted the inside, as you see there, inside those triangles. You can either paint them completely, depends on how thorough you want to be, but I think this is really cute. Now for the leafy part up here on the front of the pineapple, um, I went back to my, my teal and I painted the majority of those leaves, just all teal. So that's what you'll see here. And I keep dipping it into my water container there to keep my paints so that they'll smooth out um, nice and smooth. I'm gonna dip into some of this lighter color blue and just to give the leaves kind of a variation. And I'm just kind of going back and forth, getting, getting it all covered as much as I can. So you can decide at this point, you know, if you love teal and you wanna make the leaves all teal or you wanna do whatever kind of colors that you want for the leaves, go for it. I like to paint around the sides and the front, of course. So I paint around the leaves and um, the side of the pineapple as well. And I'm just going back with the teal and that light blue color just to get kind of a variation up there on the leaves. See? Um, I did want to make like a really bright green, almost a lime green. So I'm just again mixing my blues and I'm going to put some of it up here in various areas of the leaves. This will give it some dimension, which is exactly what I'm going for. It's really colorful and fun. So I just kind of do a little splash here and a little splash there. Kind of helps too if you try to keep your paints, you know, going in one direction. Um, I felt like the bottom needed maybe some of this really light green too. So I put some down there. So I went ahead and rinsed, hello, rinsed out my brush. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of white and put it on my clean brush. And I'm just going to put down some of this white in various locations. There's no plans here. I'm just going with the flow. So I'm putting some white just here, a little white here, a little white there to kind of break up any, any areas that seem like they're solid yellow or solid blue. Um, I put a little bit of the white up in the leaves as well because the paint at the top of the pineapple at this point is still wet. So if I go over any of those areas with my white, it's just gonna lighten up the color that's already there. So I did kind of do that a little bit in the leaves here and there. Of course, with all my work, I like to do splatters. It's like I can't help it. Um, and in order to do that, you just wanna start with a clean brush um, and kind of just flick the paint you know, here and there. But as you see, so the white just kind of lightened up little areas. Um, I went in with my dark, dark brown and I added some brown totally randomly to different areas of the pineapple. This is just to give it some dimension, a little bit of realism. Um, a little brown here, a little brown there, just to give the eye something to look at. I like to go around the edges too. Um, on the outside of the pineapple with the dark brown. So this is again where you get to make a fun choice. How much brown do you want? So it just depends on how you want your pineapple to look. But I just put it on my brush and I just kind of went here, kind of went there. Um, and that's what we have so far. She's so cute. Cute little pineapple. So when I was saying before my little splashes, that's what that is. I just come in with a clean brush that's really wet and I dip it in the color. In this case, it's white. Dip my brush in it and just kind of give it a flick, see? And it just starts to rain down little colors here and there. Um, on this one, I wanted to put just a little bit of pink. So with my wet brush, I dipped it in my acrylic fluorescent pink and gave it a little splatter. Little splatter here, little splatter there. Sometimes I'll take my finger and just put it around. Um, 
because the pink and the teal and the bright greens and the yellows, it's like the pink just is just a little pop. Um, so this isn't very difficult. And you can put little splashes of color wherever you'd like. Or if you want to do, you know, if, if you want to put some neon orange or just orange, period. Totally up to you. And since I got this at the dollar store, um, I don't feel too bad if it turns out and I don't like it. But we know that's not going to happen. So I just put some white here and there. And look how cute it's coming out. So festive. A little bit more pink. Just to give a little pop of color. So check it out. There's my little pineapple. Isn't she cute? I think she's adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay, probably lay her to the side and let her finish drying. Another thing that's really fun is if you um, want to sprinkle some glitter here and there. Who doesn't like glitter? This is just an iridescent glitter here. Um, you could get really specific with your glitters if you'd like. I decided to go ahead and grab some um, neon green glitter and sort of add some highlight those those green leaves that were already there just to make it kind of pop. But you could put teal glitter, you could put gold, silver, whatever color that you want to add. I put some down on the fruit part as well. Give it a little shake. Voila! It's so cute. So like I had said, this is a little battery operated one and I just turned it on. That's what it looks like lit up. Super, super cute, huh? Um, I'm just going to add some pops of teal up here. So I've got teal and white on my finger and I'm just going to kind of splash it, um, you know, randomly up here on the leaves. I think this pineapple is super cute. Um, maybe in a kid's room or at your desk where you just want a little happiness, a little splash of color. And you got it. If you're looking around your pineapple, just if you see any edges that aren't covered, go ahead and use your finger and cover them up. But that's it. Super cute. Thanks for watching.